Warning, this video will contain spoilers up to chapter 1048. You've been warned. Hello, Manaka Tachi, this is Joy Girl. And ever since the reveal of the true nature of Luffy's devil fruit, I know this has sparked a flurry of speculations concerning as to what this would then mean for Blackbeard and his multiple devil fruits. I mean, which is fair enough, Blackbeard remains one of the biggest mysteries in the series as this great big ball of contradictions as well as his multiple quirky facts or details such as his inability to sleep, but probably most of all, or the fact that he can consume more than one devil fruit. And so while theories have always existed trying to explain why and how Blackbeard is the way that he is, now with the revelation that Luffy doesn't have the Gomu Gomu no Mi and it is actually in fact the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika, a mythical Zoan fruit, the idea that Blackbeard doesn't have the Yami Yami no Mi actually seems more plausible now. And so again, a flurry of speculations arise and I just thought that it was now high time for me to join in on the fun. But speaking of fun, have you heard about the very fun subscribe button? The pressing of which will bring you loads of joy through regular One Piece discussions. If you have, then good for you and you can show me just exactly how much you enjoy this fun by also clicking the like button. And for those of you who haven't, well, what are you waiting for? A bounty of joy and fun awaits, all very simply attainable by just the click of the subscribe button. Okay, now that that's done, let's talk Blackbeard. Zahahaha. All right, that wasn't well done at all. <laughs> So I understand that there are loads of theories out there regarding Blackbeard. I mean, there's the Kraken, the Octopus, or the Cerberus, or even the idea that he's actually three distinct different people. And ever since the reveal, there are theories claiming that the third devil fruit that he's now after is actually Luffy's, or some claiming that the fruit he holds now, the Yami Yami no Mi, is actually the inverse of Luffy's and is also a Hito Hito no Mi, but maybe a model moon, or a moon-based theme to counter Luffy's sun-based theme. And now I do have to say that I'm actually quite on board with the idea of Blackbeard also having a mythical Zoan fruit. I mean, for one, we had been told from very early on that Blackbeard's Logia powers doesn't quite work like other Logia powers in the sense that his devil fruit doesn't allow him to just turn into darkness to avoid physical attacks. You know, we saw that he actually feels and absorbs physical impact. And although we were given a reason, an in-series, you know, logical reason as to why Blackbeard's powers are different to other Logia powers, it's possible that we now might find out that there are actually deeper reasons behind why Blackbeard's Yami Yami no Mi didn't work exactly the same, such as the fact that it's not actually a Logia Devil Fruit. There's also the fact that Blackbeard is extremely durable, and we know that Zoan and mythical Zoans in particular have incredible durability. And also, another very interesting point is another revelation that was recently made when the Gorosei revealed that mythical Zoans almost have a mind of their own, and this could actually take us all the way back to a piece of dialogue that Blackbeard. Blackbeard said when he told Ace that it's almost as if his powers chose him. You know, that the Yami Yami no Mi actually chose Blackbeard. So in that case, if Blackbeard does indeed have a mythical Zoan fruit, I quite like the idea of him having a Hito Hito no Mi to, you know, parallel Luffy or a model that will be somewhat of an inverse to Luffy's. I mean, even if we take the appearance of the Yami Yami no Mi and what we thought was the Gomu Gomu no Mi in and of themselves, it does really seem like these two fruits are quite closely connected. They obviously have a very similar appearance. And then with Blackbeard and Luffy obviously being portrayed to be two polar opposites who are intricately connected in this fateful universe, the idea of these two characters whom we know will inevitably battle it out at some point, the idea of them having, you know, inverse powers to each other is actually pretty neat. But then in saying all that, I'm not quite sold on the idea of this inverse actually being the Hito Hito no Mi model moon. For one, I actually googled this and because we know that Google is the answer to everything, the correct answer to everything, the inverse or the opposite to sun is not the moon. But in all seriousness, because we can't trust Google for everything, unfortunately, even when you look at the moon and take into account the symbolism of the moon through the lens of One Piece and what the moon means 
themes for the series. The moon is not at all the symbol of evil or of darkness, and it's not the antithesis of the sun. I mean, if anything, the moon is actually a really important symbol that seems to represent a source of light that precedes the sun. I mean, if I was to contextualize the symbolism behind the moon in terms of our current arc, where the moon is perhaps most prominent, the symbolism of the moon has been most prominent in Wano as compared to other arcs. The moon at Wano has been representative of groups and individuals like the Minks, like the Scavids, like the Kazuki clan or all the other great samurai houses. All of these really important figures who kept hope and the light alive in times of darkness. You know, the moon is a symbolism of the light of a small glimmer of hope that still existed before Wano could be ultimately saved by the bright light of the sun that is obviously epitomized in Luffy. And while it is true that a symbol could have, you know, multiple meanings throughout and within a series, I still just don't see the moon as being antithetical to the sun. I mean, really, the opposite of sun or light is the nighttime, right? The lack of sun, the lack of light, just darkness. In which case, we're almost back at square one because Blackbeard's Yummy Yummy No Me already perfectly encapsulates the darkness. But given that Luffy's Devil Fruit has been fleshed out further, if we do suppose that Oda will give Blackbeard the same sort of treatment and that Oda does want to flesh this idea of, you know, polar opposites and inverse relationships even more. And so if we do suppose that there is actually more to the Yami Yami no Mi, then in the spirit of entertaining some fun and plausible speculative ideas, I would like you to join me in humoring the idea of a Hito Hito no Mi model devil or in some way a rendition of the devil. And the reason why I've started toying around and playing around with this idea is because of a tale I came across during my research for yet again another video. So in a recent video I told you guys that I've been researching the moon and this time it has pointed me to yet again another direction. Again not the moon per se but again something else that could be possibly related to One Piece and this time a poem written by an Italian Italian poet Dante Alighieri a poem named Divine Comedy, which is a connection that I believe some of you may be familiar with already because I do have to say there are loads of connections between the Divine Comedy to One Piece and many people seem to have already pointed out that it does seem like Oda may have been inspired by the Divine Comedy in a number of ways. But for those of you who don't know, the Divine Comedy is a religious allegory about a man who seems to be Dante himself, but essentially a tale, a narrative tale about how people reach salvation. And throughout this very long, very rich narrative poem, which is actually split into three parts, the man goes on a journey where he meets different souls in hell or inferno and purgatory and paradise. And like I said, there are loads of similarities and parallels to One Piece. I mean, for one, there is actually a chapter within One Piece, chapter 275, which is actually titled Divine Comedy, or really the Divina Commedia, which is the original title for Dante's work in Old Italian. But the most obvious connection and similarity to Divine Comedy that's seen within One Piece is probably through Impel Down, because apart from the very obvious theme of hell, the general theme of hell that is very apparent throughout Impel Down, the institution does seem very clearly to have been inspired by Dante's work, especially the first part, Inferno or Hell. And this becomes very apparent when you compare the different levels of Impel Down and the different stages or the different circles of Hell in Dante's Inferno. For example, in Divine Comedy, those who commit the sin of gluttony are forced to suffer through and are punished by starving to death, which is obviously very similar to level 3 of Impel Down where we have the starvation hell. And this continues for different levels as well, such as the blazing hell, which mirrors the intense heat and flame of Inferno, or the level of freezing hell in Impel Down, which again mirrors Dante's Inferno. I mean, even the title of Divine Comedy itself, a somewhat odd or ironic name for quite a somber, 
darker tail. This title may even fit quite well with the idea of Laugh Tale in One Piece. I mean, obviously both titles, both names contain the idea of comedy and laughter, despite the fact that the tales each title represent are more likely quite dark and disturbing in nature. I mean, although we saw Roger laugh when he found the One Piece, Rayleigh did tell the Straw Hats that when they find the One Piece, they may interpret it differently. And given the fact that the secrets to all the mysteries of the world, such as, you know, Void century, these will almost very likely contain very dark themes, very heavy ideas of death and, you know, the destruction of an entire kingdom and, you know, the oppressive rule of the world government. This bittersweet, somewhat ironic name of Laugh Tale in One Piece may again be reflective of quite a similar tone of divine comedy for Dante's work. And while there are plenty more other connections you could draw between One Piece to divine comedy, let's focus on Blackbeard. Because something that I found very interesting and the reason why we are discussing this video today is the existence of Satan in Dante's Divine Comedy. And Satan in Dante's work is characterized as a beast having three heads, yellow, black and red. Three colors which I have to say have been used very prominently in the depiction and portrayal of Blackbeard within One Piece. And even more interestingly, these three differently colored colored heads of Dante's Satan represent three different characteristics. The yellow reflecting Satan's impotence, black representing ignorance, and red representing anger. And if we were to delve into this and read into it a little deeper, these three different characteristics could be taken to represent very contradictory traits, character traits of Blackbeard. For example, the impotence of yellow representing Blackbeard's quite cowardly nature at times, the black head representing the ignorance in Dante's Satan, matching the arrogance and the overconfidence of Blackbeard in One Piece, and then the red head which represents anger for Dante, could also symbolize the anger but also the ambition which we know to drive Blackbeard in the series. I mean, perhaps it even has to do with Blackbeard trying to avenge Rocks de Zebec. You know, if you subscribe to that idea that there are some sort of connections between these two, and I have discussed that further before, so you know, feel free to check that video out. But anyways, this sort of connection between Satan to Blackbeard only seemed to further continue because in Divine Comedy, Satan was said to have been found in the ninth circle of hell, which is where the most sinful of sinners were found and the greatest crime or the greatest sin of all was considered to be treachery. So then bringing it back to One Piece, as we know, Blackbeard committed a very similarly unforgivable crime of betraying his own crew or really as as the Whitebeard pirate saw it, you know, a member of their own family. And so in this way, Blackbeard has also committed the worst crime of all. And now that these connections to an external source and external material has been established, there are also some really interesting and intriguing things to note within One Piece itself. Things that could point to Blackbeard having the Hito Hito no Mi and really a model that's based on, you know, Satan, a devil or a demon in some way. First off, the idea of Blackbeard actually having the Hito Hito no Mi may have been hinted in chapter 650 because in Fishman Island we see Jinbei and he's telling the Straw Hats about the latest exploits of Blackbeard and the fact that he's been after and scouting some really strong devil fruit powers. And so Chopper becomes scared of this and the possibility of Blackbeard coming after him to take away his Hito Hito no Mi. But then Usopp responds, no one is after the Hito Hito no Mi, which served as a very cute piece of dialogue, a very nice touch of comedy within that scene. But what if that moment, those dialogue, that short exchange wasn't actually as innocent as it first seemed? You know, what if the idea of Blackbeard coming after the Hito Hito no Mi had further meanings? Because if we go back to the parallels between Luffy and Blackbeard, and therefore Luffy's devil fruit to Blackbeard's, now that Luffy has a mythical Zoan fruit, you know, the model Nika, a sun god, a deity figure, it's quite 
quite fitting that if Blackbeard was also to have a mythical Zoan fruit, then his would be representative of the devil. In other words, the antithesis of a deity of a godly figure. And Blackbeard having this actual polar opposite to Luffy's sun god devil fruit may have been hinted all the way back in chapter 441 because we see Blackbeard asking Ace a question. The sun or the darkness? You know, which one will win? Which one is stronger? And at the time, this piece of dialogue just seemed like Blackbeard was making a reference to the sun in terms of Ace and his fire abilities. But obviously, now that Luffy has the Nika Devil Fruit, which has very clear connections to a sun god figure, this piece of dialogue of Blackbeard weighing up the sun or darkness, this seems to have much greater weight and meaning behind it as well. And so now with Luffy having these connections to a deity figure and being portrayed like a savior type figure, what could be better and more appropriate and more fitting than Luffy's polar opposite Blackbeard being characterized by a literal devil. Now this doesn't mean that the model necessarily has to be the Hito Hitonomi model devil. I'm sure in the same way as how Oda found a very unique idea of a sun god figure, a Nika figure, there could be something that's also created for Blackbeard in being representative of the devil as well. But these were some of the fun ideas and connections that I came across and I just wanted to discuss further with you guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on the matter and what do you guys think about Blackbeard, whether he has a third devil fruit already, whether you think it's plausible that he might become representative of the devil, let me know by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and share the video. Again, please do subscribe if you haven't already and you can also join our Joy Fleet Discord server or even become a Patreon member. And I do want to thank all our patrons for help supporting the channel. This is Joy Girl and I'll see you again soon.